while Spain was doing this useless and imprudent thing. There was a country that was growing their economic power systematically and steadily. The country was the Netherlands, which was called Flanders at that time. The country's name, the Netherlands, means low-lying land, a frequent flooding zone. It was not such good land to live on. But these three countries merged and became the three nations Bonolux, which were Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Therefore, historically, the Netherlands was a land where three countries were merged together. This region was once a Spanish colony. At that time, it was not a single country, but a colony of Spain as a coalition of seven small city-states. And these countries later developed into the Duchy of Burgundy. Because of the Edict of Alhambra, the country developed and prospered suddenly. During the Reconquista in Spain in 1492, the decree of Alhambra proclaimed that all Jews were to be expelled. So Jews went through Portugal to the Netherlands. After Spain achieved the Reconquista, they wanted to make Spain a Catholic white people's country. That was the reason that all Jews were kicked out from Spain. So the Muslims living there at that time, mostly Moors and Jews, were expelled together. However, the Moors were mixed blood in those Africans and Arabs. Spain ordered Jews and Moors to either convert to the religion of Christianity and live in Spain, or otherwise leave the country within three months. The Jews were told to leave, and at that time, the best place to live was a free city, where they could avoid religious persecution, Flanders, that is, the Netherlands. So the Jews had no choice but to emigrate to the Netherlands. After Jews emigrated, they founded the East India Company in 1602, which was the world's first corporation. As a matter of fact, the British founded the British East India Company in 1600, which was not a corporation, but a bestowment from the British government to the nobility. However, the Dutch East India Company was actually the world's first joint stock company and founded by Jews. The corporation was created by just ordinary people collecting capital in reality. Due to the number of joint stock companies that were founded, a stock market was also needed and created to trade stocks. So a huge amount of money flowed in, or people made an immense amount of capital. And in the 17th century, it was said that 75% of the ships floating at sea on Earth were Dutch ships. In this manner, the Jews increasingly took control of the world's maritime trade. Since the stock market was created and capital poured in from abroad, it was necessary for foreign exchange settlement and a central bank to be established. They created a joint stock company, stock market, and central bank, and eventually had all the necessary elements of capitalism. That was a historic event that took place in the Netherlands at that time, and there were brilliant Jews behind the event. So, the Netherlands, which had no religious persecution, accepted Jews without discrimination, gained independence from Spain as a result of the Thirty Years' War and continued on the path of development. However, England, located across the sea, waged war against the Netherlands four times. The war between England and the Netherlands was a one-on-one -on -one war between Britain and the Netherlands that occurred three times, and another time was a war with the Netherlands that united Britain and France. In 1664, the British bought the Dutch and possibly took New Amsterdam, which was a colony in North America. Historic New Amsterdam is New York today. New Amsterdam originally belonged to the Netherlands, but it was forcibly taken by the British. For that reason, the Netherlands lost its position as a dominant country and descended from the position of a great power.